Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 video on UHF RFID reader. In part 1 RFID reader video, I explained you how a reader can be interfaced with Arduino microcontroller and all the functionalities have been explained. Kindly watch that video and uh, the link is given in the description box. In this video, I'm going to show you for which project, which undergraduate project we have used uh, this RFID reader. So this is the long range UHF RFID reader, which works uh, at a frequency between 800 and 900 megahertz. And uh, the range is up to five meter. We have tested this. So it uh, you know detects even if the distance between the RFID tag and the reader is uh, five meters. So what you can see is the snapshot of the undergraduate project work carried out by year three students of BTEC Electrical and Electronics Engineering of my university and is mentored by me. It's a funded project funded by Expo Live Dubai. And there is another video I have uploaded which explains the wireless power transfer part of this. And in this project work, we will see for what purpose we have used the RFID reader. As you can see here, uh, there is a prototype toll gate. This is the prototype toll gate. And uh, inside this, uh, we will find the UHF RFID reader. And in the car, you can see that there is RFID tag. The purpose of using this UHF RFID reader is to detect the vehicle whenever it crosses this toll gate and also to notify the uh, the vehicle owner with uh, you know gsm notification so if you just look at the inside of this toll gate you can see the uhf rfid reader and the complete circuit you can find it has got you know the arduino it has it has got a gsm module and this UHF RFID reader requires a 12 volt, at least one ampere current. So we have used a battery of certain ampere R and 12 volt. And the entire circuitry you can find here. And it's uh, hidden inside the toll gate. Of course, this is not the right uh, position of placing the RFID reader. So usually RFID reader is placed downwards, but since the distance between the this toll gate and the RFID tag of the car is approximately four feet. So it doesn't matter, it uh, properly detects it. Otherwise, this part of RFID reader can be placed, can be positioned downwards uh, so for, for more sensitivity. So this video will show the complete project description of the project work. It has got different parts. Uh, so one is the RFID reader part, as I explained to you, it is used to detect a vehicle whenever it crosses the toll gate. The second part is the core component of this project work, wireless power transfer. And there is a separate uh, video I have uploaded. You can watch the working of wireless power transfer. And the primary coil is powered by solar panels. So two 12 volt, 150 watt solar panels have been used to get 300 watt uh, power and that is used to you know power the primary coils so let me just uh, show the video so this is how it works as you can see when it crosses the indicator is on indicating that it is detected followed by a sms notification because of uh, gsm modules so thanks for watching this video